Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. Welcome back to Sanguine. That is Victor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. There's a couple of particularly satisfying ways of taking out Victor Novikov and Dali Margolis. In this video, we're going to go over a couple of them. Starting with a bit more standard sneaky stealth, a bit less disguises. For now. We want to start off by making our way to the back of the manor. On the right here is a schedule detailing the fireworks. We didn't check it out in this playthrough, but you can if you want to get a little bit more hints to show you where to go. Sneaking here, you gotta kind of avoid people here because you're not supposed to be here. It is trespassing. And there's a security guard right here. That's what distractions are good for. Free money, right? You gotta be kind of quick to move him here, or they will see you. This is a bit of an imperfect hiding place. People who walk here will see it, but mostly no one really walks there, and when they do, it'll be too late. Alright, stage security. People won't question us too much. <laughs> but we won't be wearing this for a long time. Just double checking the door is closed. Now, it's a bit risky leaving me here in the stairs, so we're gonna actually drag him all the way down the stairs. We're gonna assume it's non-lethal, although to me it looks like his head is hitting each individual stair step a lot of times. Down here on the bottom floor, find a nice little cupboard, closet, wardrobe. Put our friend in. Excellent. Now that we're dressed as crew, people shouldn't question us too much when we move around in the inner workings of the stage show. In here. Huh. Wow. I never knew this stuff was so complicated. What's this one for? Yeah, that's a fireworks remote. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. Look, Novikov's expecting a heads up before we trigger the display, you know, so we can watch it from the garden. That sounds... useful. Hey, uh, buddy. Uh, I want to leave that alone. Novikov asked me to fetch it for him. He wants to trigger the fireworks himself. Alright, whatever he wants. It's his money. Now, the fireworks display, we have a pretty good way of getting people's attention. So all we need to do now is to be in the right place. Hello, Victor. Don't mind me. And uh, don't mind the guy lying out here.
Now this guy is a little bit problematic. It's hard to deal with him non-lethally, so... Sorry, man. Generally, depending on challenges or score, you want to avoid getting non-target killed, but... Well, kind of need to get rid of him. And can't leave his body out here, so I would be throwing his body over here, which would kill him anyway. That's also why we took out that security guard down there, or he would be quite surprised. Alright, how about we just uh, trigger the fireworks? I gotta say, it is an impressive light show Victor has planned. No, smoking's not good for you, Dahlia. Now, surely Victor's heard the noise by now. And I'm sure he's not very happy that the fireworks put on right in the middle of the show before it barely even started. He didn't trigger it. Someone must have pressed the detonator. It's really not good. There he is. He does not seem happy. Dahlia, that's your friend down there. You should go check on him. This could be useful. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. Two and one. Now we get the hell out of here. This is one of my favorite ways. I like the idea of killing one with the other. But the fireworks remote is useful for other reasons as well, as we'll see in this next one. As you finish the mission in more and more ways, you unlock more challenges and get more mastery level, you get the ability to plan the mission. And when you plan the mission, you unlock uh, drop-offs, uh, different starting locations, different weapon. So we've unlocked a large agency pickup, where we can then place a large weapon, such as the Jaeger 7 sniper rifle. And we can also go into a different starting location and immediately start undercover in the AV center just to speed things up. And, you know what, how about we bring a lockpick? And, while we're at it, let's switch to the cool suit. Not that we're gonna use it since we'll be starting off as the crew outfit, but let's go. Nabokov's expecting a heads up before we trigger the display, you know, so we can watch it from the garden. Hey, uh, buddy, uh, I want to leave that alone. Nabokov asked me to fetch it for him. He wants to trigger the fireworks himself. All right, whatever he wants, it's his money. Now... After the last mission, we know exactly where they're going to stand and where they're going to be once we actually trigger the fireworks. And then there was the year before with the straight jacket. Yeah, I think you'd look good in just about anything. Last time we went up there to be there with them. This time I have something else in mind. I think you might have figured it out already, considering we did specifically plan for it. The shed is right here. Do have some patrolling guards. But we can leave him alone. Or I do want to go down here quickly and unlock this door. Gate.
Now, we may look like a crew member, but if we're walking around with a big giant sniper rifle on our back, people are going to pay attention. So we're going to have to be a little bit sneaky. But here we have it. We can walk over here and then... Oh, no. That was almost close enough. Luckily, the guards are a little bit lazy and don't quite pay that much attention, or he probably would have seen that giant gun on my back. But we're good to go. The reason we want to go down here is something you might have seen if you were just checking out the horizon as you were walking around. There's a barge right here at this little dock. And we can climb quite high. And from here we have pretty damn good visibility. And perfect spot for sniping. The balcony and the terrace is right there. So, let's trigger the detonator. Now, I actually play the game with the controller, but when it comes to sniping and precision, it's time to use the mouse and keyboard. It'll be quite an explosive finish. I think that's Dahlia? No, not quite. There's Victor. He'll be raging about the fireworks there for a while, so be patient. Wait for Dahlia and so bye. Goodbye. All the targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. I wanna make sure we're not running around with the actual sniper rifle, so we're just gonna drop it here. Light our way down. It's a bit more of an open kill. People will definitely find their bodies. People will immediately notice something's wrong. But we were nowhere near. No one's particularly suspicious of us. I am just a crew guy. Don't mind me. Just... Double checking everything worked out fine. Head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Judging by the amount of blood, I think we did the job. Goodbye, Paris. Once you start unlocking more mastery levels and more options to start with, it just all really opens up. It's a lot of fun stuff to do. But you don't always need to start with that. You can start with the same old suit and nothing. Apologies. I didn't notice. A lot of people sure. out here. This is a big event of the season. Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. There is another way to kill Novikov that, that I'll probably Novikov. won't go into in these videos, because we're already listing so many of them. That involves planting an explosive in a camera for an amateur journalist, and then exploding it as it's interviewing Victor. It's pretty good. Now it's time to eavesdrop. Please. Please, just 
leave right now, please? No, 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 no. Victor and I are going to negotiate. Oh my god, what are you talking about? Negotiate about what? Valerie, you've been trying to discredit him for years, and now? Showstopper's going under, Liza. What can I say? It's all about the blog, so. Blackmail Victor, and we save the magazine. It's not pretty, I know, but... Look, we still need solid proof that Victor and Margolis are in it together. And if Haley's been caught... Liza, I need you to get up to that auction and finish the job. Me? No, I, I, I can't. Valerie, you can't ask me to do that. I can, Liza, and you will. We've got 200 jobs on the line. If not for me, do it for them. Oh, God damn it. Atta girl. Here, this will get you inside. Your cover story is as follows. You represent the Van Orton Tobacco Company, looking for a way to discredit key members of the National Cancer Coalition. Get me some evidence and then get the hell out. You can do this, Liza. I trust you. Now get going before we lose our shot. Valerie and Liza are in it against Victor, which opens up a bit of an opportunity. A minor one, but... You can follow Valerie if you want, and you get to see a public argument between him, her and Victor. But I'm gonna follow Liza, because she's the one that got the invitation. Alright, be sneaky, 47. Oh, but we need to listen. So, I guess we'll go inside. And, um... Hope that she's blind. It's fine, she totally can't see me because there's no ma- oh. Well, it's fine, there's a mirror. But, I'm a vampire, so I can't be seen in mirrors. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm not a vampire. Maybe she's just very inattentive. Blow your mind, Pen. No! No, of course I ain't gonna do it! I'm a PA, not a PI! <sighs> I know. Beats being dead. Just, look. I'm hiding out for now. But if anything happens to Valerie or me, you need to get into her safe. The key is under the snow globe. And get that file she has on Novikov and Margolis to the police. They'll know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm scaring me too. Now I actually kind of wasted my opportunity here. Because now she sees me. And as much as I'm trying to get behind her and choke her out. It's not working out. She's kind of suspicious. 47's panicking a bit. And, well, sorry Liza. You ain't fooling me. I'm real sorry. Right, well, at least we got the Yago invitation. Um, there's no real way to stash her here, so let's just hope no one visits the bathroom. Yeah, we should check out the other bathroom to make it look better than this one. Uh, just to double check things. And in here we find another invitation. So that was all a waste of time. Good going, 47. Well, whatever. We have it. What's done is done. With that invitation, we can now just walk right up to the third floor and get into the auction. We've seen these two guards standing here at the side of the manor every time we've walked around this area. And that's exactly where we need to go. But, before we do, we just happen to overhear these two waiters. According to staff, Viktor Novikov's favorite drink is a rather obscure cocktail known as a bare-knuckle boxer. The recipe, however, has been misplaced in the basement. 
Sounds like a chance opportunity to get on Novikov's good side. Should really go look for it. Man pays our wages. Serves a decent job. Let's get that disguise. Whoa. We're a little bit loud, so... No choking out, I'm just gonna punch you in the face. 47 is a bit more violent than usual. But enough of that. We're now dressed as palace staff. Should make it a little bit easier. Ah, yes. There's the recipe. Now we need to make our way up to the kitchen. Well, this is technically the kitchen, but up to the bar, the back of the bar. Ah, this is where that door leads. Look, I can run, but I'll see you later, okay? Good on you, Jerome. And I'm cheering for that guy. I want those two crazy kids to get together. Ah, yes, here we go. Need some rat poison. It's always rat poison in the kitchen. Pretty sure that's how it works everywhere, right? Alright, let's make sure we're not actually walking around with them out in the open. I'll get right on it. Nice work, 47. Time to mix up a storm. It doesn't take too long for Victor to eventually get here. Does one is bare knuckle boxer. That is Victor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. You, you look like you know what you're doing. Make me a bare knuckle boxer. Coming right up, Mr. Novikov. <sighs> Finally, a professional. Glad I hired one. You can rely on me. Um, really quick before you drink it, let me just um, touch it up a little. A little bit of extra spike. Are you alright, sir? I hate to think it was, it was something you've eaten here. Get it out, Just get it all out. That's right, work those abs. We'll be better. Later. I'm just uh gonna gonna check on him. Let's get to use the fiber wire. Good work, 47. Time to find Dahlia Margolis. One down, one to go. Haven, repeat, we are in Haven. Out. All right. Now for Dalia Margolis, remember we did get that invitation. We can't exactly show up dressed as a waiter though, so... Let's 
go find our old suit. Service has to be first class tonight. You know it. Luckily, we left the suit lying right there on the floor. Sir? Just need to see your invite, sir. Here you go. I didn't find this in the bathroom or anything. Go, it was sir. totally given to me. Welcome, sir. Invitees only. Do you have yours? Thank you, sir. Please continue. Now, there's a slight problem with the next stop here. They don't want to see my invitation. They want to sh make sure I'm not packing a gun. Which I am. So... I'm just gonna leave the gun here on the balcony for now. Let's hope no one comes out here to have a smoke. Or if they do, they don't look very closely. We're gonna have to find a way to deal with Margolis without the gun. Which should be a problem. What in the No. Oh. Love the tie. What is that? Carnelian? Burgundy? It's Burgundy, right? Yeah, not so. It's Burgundy, got you got to it. Check anyone who comes through here, sir. I'm sure you understand. I recommend not trying to knock him out. It's a lot easier this way. Green light. Go ahead, sir. And there we go. Access to the third floor. Once we're here. Good evening, sir. Please come in. I hope you enjoy yourself. There are too many high profiles up here. Hello, sir. Sheik Al Ghazali. That Rutherford of Sheik Al Mr. Jordan Cross. Who can step into the auction? You have been expecting my call. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. The next article for sale, a suspicious suicide in the defense industry of the United States. Good evening. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, Mr. Reaper. Tobias Reaper. I'm a friend of Victor's. I see. I wish I had been informed. Well, yes. no matter. Do enjoy the auction, Mr. Reaper. I will see you later. Looking forward to it. Final bid. No further bids. Very well. Let's um get a fresher breath there. Now there's an option here of grabbing this guy's outfit and walking around as a security guard, but I have a better idea. You are a sharp press, dude. Thanks, man. You too. Like your style. <laughs> ah, just the man I was hoping to find. If you want to be pedantic about it, just the outfit I was hoping to find. Now, it actually shows up as non-target killed hair. I don't know why. That was just a standard choke out on actually killing him. So, if I was going for no kills, I'd be very upset right now, but it's okay. I think I'm just going to go to work. And what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So now, 
I wait. Enlighten me, Nicholas. That's not very good, is it? Class action lawsuit. I and hope how everyone do you is deem happy. Their chances in that court? makes me happy. Everyone is super happy. Well, how about a toast to happiness? Oh no. Let's not take any chances. Oh. It's oh, time to get in touch with Noel Crest. No. no. Early reliable man. Oh, you're not feeling good, are you? I can tell. You came, Miss Margolis? Um, I, I better keep an eye on her. You never know. I think it's probably something she ate. Yeah. It was definitely something she ate, much like Victor. Hey man, I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna tag along with Mr. Gorgolis. No, oh no. All right, okay. That's fine. That shouldn't really be much of a problem. I don't know why she just randomly says this could be useful, but that's two for two. Poison is predictably very useful. That leaves our business here complete. Except... Of course we can't forget. I don't want to leave the gun lying out here in the open. I like that gun. Now we can leave. Hey, waiter. We're almost done with Paris. I could probably do two or maybe even three more videos like this, but I'm gonna pick a few cool ones, show them off in the next video, and then we're moving on. Moscow. Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for.